Okay, so let's have this uncomfortable conversation concerning what happens to our children when we die and we do not plan properly. Most of the people in my comments, their children are young. They're like six, nine teenagers, basically. Yeah. So they're young children and probably don't even have bank accounts. So when you nominate your children, when you nominate your children, to be the beneficiaries in your pensions, in your savings, and all of these things, you are literally giving them everything that you have worked hard for. But now, practically speaking, when a nine-year-old, when you die tomorrow and your nine-year-old is expected to receive 10 million rands in policies and pensions, where is that money going to go to? Let's Practically speaking, do they have a bank account? Are they going to be able to manage it if they're 16 years old? Will they be able to manage 10 million rands cash that is going to be transferred via EFT? Now, two, there's this issue of the guardianship. Who is the legal guardian of this child? Because that money is where, that is where the money will end up being. That money will end up going to those guardians. And if you don't have a guardian that is state-plated in your will, the government is going to have to inherit that money and manage it and keep it for you, for your children. Now, you, we all know stories. We all know people who are struggling to get money. We all, and we should stop trying to test our aunties, our, our sisters and our mothers because we all know what happens when they receive 10 million. That money, they're going to chow it up. And then when a child is expected to take that money at 18, the money is gone. That is, that is the reality of what we are facing every single day. We all know someone who's gone through that, who is, who is complaining that their aunt ate all their inheritance. So, what is your plan? And then two, there are people that are saying they, have been, they, they are with capital legacy. They are handling everything. They are doing the wills. Guys, what do you know about capital legacy? Do you Have you done your research and check if the beneficiaries that are alive because the clients are, prob are still alive so we can't use their testimony as a good reference we need to ask have the beneficiaries gotten what they have been promised because now you technically they are handling your will they are the accountants they are their own lawyers they are the trustees they are the administrators of the exit. So this one company, this one company is handling everything concerning your entire estate and no one else is going to be able to monitor them and check if your children are taken care of. No one. You don't think about that. What if they don't pay out? What if they go insolvent tomorrow and you're dead? What happens then? That money is gone because they are, they are keeping that money in their own trust that they set up and no one has the documents. No one else knows. The children would probably don't know. So you are literally trusting everything over to this one company. Guys, let's think about your children. Let's plan properly. I'm not saying don't use them, but think about these things.